This red seaweed is destined to end up in the stomach of a cow. Asparagopsis is native to Australia and grows naturally on the ropes at this pearl farm at the Abrolhos Islands, 60 kilometres off the Geraldton coast. It's a pest for us. It's getting rid of something and using it for something else is a good thing. CSIRO and James Cook University scientists have discovered methane emissions can almost be eliminated by feeding cattle a small amount of asparagopsis. The research organisations have set up a commercial company to establish a seaweed feed industry. When they tested asparagopsis, the results were so good that they thought they had a testing error. So they didn't believe it um, until the third replicate of the testing also showed virtual elimination of methane production. Currently, Seastock is the only West Australian company with a commercial licence to harvest asparagopsis. 300 kilograms has been collected, spun and stored in canola oil before being delivered to customers. The company is planning to grow much larger amounts of seaweed in the ocean and in onshore aquaculture tanks. If we can create enough um, product globally um, that'll offset the methane emissions from ruminant feed, that's really the goal globally. That's what we want to try and do. The next step is to find a way to sustainably produce commercial quantities of asparagopsis. If that can be achieved, the Australian industry is forecast to be worth as much as $100 million by 2025. Lucinda Jose, ABC News, Abrolhos Islands.